Hello and welcome to uh, jasonnewland.com I should really be able to remember that as that's what I say at the beginning of every single video every single mp3 session so I will just say before we start make sure you can get yourself comfortable this is daily hypnosis uh, 2018 number one no number three rather and in January it will be daily hypnosis 2019 so I, it just makes it easier so you know kind of what year and maybe in the future I'll start doing it by age so maybe in 2020 at the end of August I might start calling it daily hypnosis 50 you know because I'll be 50 <coughs> excuse me so make sure you're comfortable before you listen to or watch the video and only watch this or listen to this when you can safely close your eyes. So the first daily hypnosis session I recorded like this. And I wasn't sure about the volume, the sound and how kind of loud it would be. And then yesterday I did one using my Rode microphone, but I didn't do any editing. I just uh, ended up just using the standard volume, but without the headphones. But someone, a couple of people said that the volume was, the quality of the audio was good on the first one that I did, which was like this with the microphone just there. So I'm gonna do another one and you know, go from there, see how it turns out. This is a lot easier for me to do because it means I can just upload the video directly from my iPhone, directly to YouTube in, I don't know, it usually takes about half an hour or so to upload it. Then it's done. I don't, no editing, no nothing. It just, did you see that fly just come in? I don't know where, where do flies live? Where do they live? I never see it ever, anywhere. It just arrives out of nowhere. It just goes, just maneuvers around the area. But I don't know where its house is unless this is its house. Hmm. So, just had some chocolate ice cream about an hour, maybe 43 minutes ago. And just as I was about to start the video, I had a look in the mirror and I had like chocolate all around my mouth. And That's the whole story really, there's no, no more to say other than that. So I wiped it off. Only watch this, so listen to it when you can safely close your eyes because it may be boring. And that's it. So the point of these sessions really is for me just to talk to you and incorporate certain ideas and aspects and thoughts and suggestions and just mix and stir and just little sprinklings of stuff, little sprinkling of optimism, a little sprinkling of confidence, a little sprinkling of feeling safe, you know, just different things, different ideas and those feelings, some of those feelings that 
you may have experienced in previous sessions, previous videos or audios that you've watched or listened to, may start coming back. Maybe just listening to my voice can be a trigger for that. Those feelings, those comfortable, safe, relaxing feelings to reoccur. Or maybe seeing my funny face can help that as well. Maybe seeing some of the faces, the weird faces I make. I don't always know I'm doing it. I don't necessarily mean to do it. You can watch these sessions. And I notice I just said watch, not watch, but watch. Watch these sessions. And you can just, over the years, watch me grow older. Watch the beard growing, you know, over the month. And then you can see, as time goes by, the white, grey area, which is around there at the moment, starting to spread throughout my whole face and my hair. And I'll just be, I'll end up looking like Santa Claus. And I've already got the belly. I've already got the red face. So, see, I'm not far off it. So I think I'll make quite a good Santa Claus. Although, I was brought up to call him Father Christmas. Never used to call him Santa Claus, but my niece calls him Santa Claus. So it's just one of those things that I... Sort of... Those things that I look can be a bit annoying with time with maybe it's the aging process maybe it's because of the internet that there's a continuing uh, new phrases and new words coming up um, Brexit is an example of that a made up word which now is one of the most famous words in my country at least and it's famous all around the world because it's you know it's quite big news um, apparently it's just a made-up word so it's kind of got nothing to, to do with daily hypnosis sessions and I'm trying to figure a way you know when you start talking about something and you want to manoeuvre yourself out of it and then move back to something maybe a bit more substantial. Um, I suppose like being on a first date with somebody and I don't know, you just it's like trying to hold a fart in, you know, on a first date. That's what I'm thinking. Just you're trying to it's, you know, it's, there's all this sound around, people talking in the restaurant, and then suddenly, and as soon as you want to fart, everything goes quiet. It's like all the waiters and waitresses decide to take a break. The chef decides to stop being angry and, you know, banging pots and pans around, and All the helicopters and planes in the world just land safely and just don't make any sound. And all you want to do is let that air safely out. If you, you know, what do you do? You have to like, cough to cover it up because you haven't got the background sound to sort of absorb it. I remember a member of my family, she actually um, used to fart to cough up her <laughs> I'll say it in a minute. She used to fart to cover up her coughs. It's not real, it's just a joke. But uh, anyway, this isn't about farting. This is 
I suppose in a way, taking a break from that stuff, from those thoughts, that I know that I do it, and I'm sure that probably everybody does it. That repetition of maybe something that's playing on your mind and just keeps going over and over and over. And I could have done this, could have done that. Why, how, how dare they? How dare they say that to me? Don't they know how important I am? You know, that kind of stuff. And I think sometimes it can be useful, I get a dry throat, to actually take a step back. And maybe you could think of it as a distraction technique. Sometimes it's nice to just take a break from that. And I'm gonna take a break from this by having a drink. You know, Coke has become so expensive with all the sugar tax. It's getting to the point where it's cheaper for me to drink alcohol than it is to drink Coke. And I don't like alcohol. It's frustrating. So instead of, I could be getting here, getting drunk, but I'm spending the same amount of money on a fizzy drink which has no alcohol. So this seems to be turned into some kind of uh, hypnotic buffet session. So I'm gonna move along because this isn't a hypnotic buffet, but it is in a sense of everything that's all the same. It's just me talking. And Sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say. Most of the time I don't know what I'm going to say. The intention is there, I know roughly where I'm going or why I'm going there. What the intention behind making videos such as this is in order for you to feel differently. Does that make sense? It's about feeling differently. It's not, this, the title of this video or this audio session is not um, to reduce anger or uh, to help you with OCD or to help you uh, stop smoking or to help you dealing with difficult relationships. Or It's none of those things. Yet it's all of those things at the same time because these daily hypnosis sessions touch upon everything. Because it's a bit like, is it kaplunk? The thing where you take the, the big long plastic spike out and it's all these marbles and you know, one movement can affect the whole thing. It's a bit like that. You watch a, a film, a movie, and the way you feel can change really, really quickly, even within the period that you're watching the movie. So let's say the movie lasts for an hour and a half. It could be romance, it could be comedy, it could be a mixture of all kinds of different things. You have these different feelings. So we're affected by the things we see, by the things we hear, by the things we think. I just always, I've, whenever I hear someone say, I'm never gonna change. It's really hard not to laugh at them because we all change. It's, it's no, it's really, it's, 
I'm not trying to sort of go back to parables from the Bible, but or from whatever. But it's you know it is like making a sandcastle, and in just doing everything in your power to protect that sandcastle from the sea. But the sandcastle is right near the sea. And you're determined to do everything you can to stop the sea from washing your sandcastle the way. But there is nothing that you can do. You know, really, I'm supposed, apart from build a big, massive concrete wall around it, I suppose would protect it if the wall was high enough. And then you'd, I guess you'd have to cover it up so that there was no rain could get into it, no moist, uh, no natural wear and tear. So you'd have to seal it up somehow in such a way that it could never be affected, never be washed away, never be destroyed, never change at all. That's a lot of work, isn't it? I suppose that, you know, it's, it makes me think, it's kind of, you know, if you were to buy a two bedroom house and you decided that that's the house you're going to live in for the rest of your life, for the next 50, 60 years, 70 years, whatever, and you have a baby. So that's both the bedrooms taken up. Then you have another baby, then you have another baby, then you have another baby. At what point do you decide that change has to happen? Or do you just have people sleeping on top of each other? Have, have your kids sleeping on the roof? In the garden? In the chimney? On top of the television? You know, eventually, you could be thinking, what's this got to do with hypnosis? This is supposed to be a daily hypnosis session. He's talking about kids sleeping on television sets. What, what, on the roof? Sandcastles surrounded by big concrete walls, sealed in. What what what's that all got to do with anything? I suppose it's about trying to stop change from happening. Realistically, we can't stop change from happening because change is going to happen. Whether we like it or not, it's happening all the time. I'm not a massive fan of some of the changes taking part within my own body or my own mind, maybe. But there's a degree of acceptance required for that. Uh, was it yesterday? I think it was last night. It might have been the night before, but I ran to the garage to try and get there before it closed. And I was coughing for about an hour afterwards because I really exerted myself and it was a shock to my system because I haven't, although I do weights, I don't do much in the way of cardiovascular exercise which I clearly need to do. And that wouldn't happen when I was 20. Oh, I just did a, you know when you do a burp, but it's not actually, doesn't come out. It just like stays in it, in you. I think you might have heard it on a microphone. It's like an internal burp. It's like a little frog inside my mouth. Not my mouth, but in my chest area. Mm. 
maybe it's a pride thing. The, the idea that I won't change for another person. I would say that's just a new way of saying or a different way of saying I will not allow other people to control me. Now that I can understand because none of us should allow other people to be controlling with us because that can lead to all kinds of problems. But changing is what happens naturally. And I suppose if we're gonna change anyway, why not, instead of just being a passenger in that little car, that vehicle of change, why not maybe get in there and start driving it? You know, it might be a, a road, and it might be just one road that we can go down, but maybe you can choose where you stop. Stop at a restaurant here, stop at a place there, pick up a book, read a book, what you do on that journey. I don't believe it's just one road anyway, but you know, if, you, if you're going down that journey or up that journey, of change. You could embrace it. You could enjoy it. It could be fun. So yeah, these uh, daily hypnosis sessions have officially changed into incorporating hypnotic buffets <laughs> which I didn't know was going to happen so apologies if that's not what you wanted but these will be a mixture of everything I'll talk about myself I'll talk about what's going on I'll talk about I'll just talk generally and as I said, I think the first session I, I said, if there's something that you'd like me to incorporate within these sessions, bearing in mind I'm doing them every day. So just put a comment in the YouTube comment section or leave a message on my website, uh, jasonnewland.com or www jasonnewland.com and you can then you know I'll try to incorporate and this is part of my changing process because I'm moving away from maybe the way I used to do things in the past I'm trying to be just be my this is my version of hypnosis. And I know it's not the uh, snap fingers and go to sleep and uh, although sometimes I, I might play around with that stuff, but I'm probably, I'm one of the, the least forceful hypnotists in a, verbally in a sense of, I don't tell you how to feel although that can be really useful for a lot of people, but I don't feel comfortable really telling you to feel a certain way. I can offer suggestions. I can talk about those things, those feelings, those uh, ways of feeling safe, feeling calm, uh, maybe share some ways that, of things that I do myself. Also, maybe share things that I've read. So it's not, you know, on the other stuff I'll just make up. So it's a it's a mixture of uh, education, experience, and creativity. I would I would say. 
So the experience of 12 years or 20 years as a hypnotist with 12 years and 12 and a half years of doing these videos and audios online, education, the courses I've done, the books I've read, and the experience um, also from one-on-one -on -one sessions I've done with people and also you know, group sessions and creativity would be the being able to just talk and come up with something here and now with the hope that it can be useful and you're the only person that knows whether or not listening to me creates a feeling or triggers a feeling within you that feels nice, that feels positive, that just, you know, that nice feeling, that general kind of, some people call it glow, uh, a feeling of wellness maybe and that can differ for everybody because every we all experience things differently and that's I think that's a good thing because then it takes the pressure off it takes for me it takes the pressure and the expectations uh, and the challenges and the competition to you know try and be like somebody else or try to uh, experience the world you know like someone else although you can do that in a fun way for example if you think about somebody that you really really like it could be a, a friend loved one, a family member, it may be a movie star, it may be a singer, it could be your favourite sports person, you, um, the list is endless. And you pick someone that you a part of them that you like, maybe you get a sense from them that they feel confident or you get a sense that they're very relaxed or that they feel very at peace within themselves or uh, very comfortable within their own body or how comfortable with how they look. And instead of it being a competition to try and be like that person, you can actually just spend a couple of minutes imagining what it would feel like to be and to feel how that person feels. So we could do that now. We could have a, a little uh, one minute experiment, if you like. So I'd like you just to think, uh, let's, it can be any emotion. Could be I say emotion I know I don't use literal uh, proper English when I use these words because for me uh, when I talk about emotions I think about confidence that's more of a, a feeling isn't it than a an emotion but just but is it an emotional feeling you feel confident It's in it. I think any feeling, the emotional feeling, or for me, is it's emotional. But I've said the word emotional too many times, probably. Emotional. Yeah, I said it one more time. So if you think of it, somebody, and you just imagine that person in front of you, whoever it is. And you can see them actually experiencing that particular 
emotion or feeling that you admire and you perhaps would like to experience now. I want to say now, I just want you to step, imagine stepping inside them, stepping inside their body and actually experiencing exactly what they experience. Those, but only positive, happy, good feelings. That's the only thing that you're going to feel. Um, so whether it's confidence, whether it's gratitude, whether it's a sense of being comfortable with how you look, whether it's just a, a sense of safety or feeling at peace with the world. And when I say now, I'd like you just to step inside that person and just experience that and stay with that feeling. And I'm just gonna be quiet for a minute. Of course, if you if you want to step out after 10 seconds, you can. It's up to you, you're in charge. Um, but I'm gonna just say now, now. Now, you can just step back out again, if you choose to do so. And just notice how different you feel now. Not just physically, but also in your mind. see how easily you can change how you feel. I was just sitting there talking to you, I didn't realise I had my hand in front of my mouth, covering up my face. There you go, now you can see my face again. This is something that you can do and something that we could do actually together, maybe a bit more often, and perhaps in future episodes, future sessions, we can do it maybe for longer. But also I could do it where I actually also talk whilst you're inside the body of that person, um, experiencing those really lovely feelings whether it be confidence, feeling confident, whether you feel relaxed, whether you feel comfortable in your own body, whether you feel safer. Whether you feel this surge of self-love. You know, you feel this feeling just uh, this feel, it's, it's really feels nice. I'm actually getting it right now. I'm not sure if it's self-love or what it is, but it's a, a real sense of um, 
it's in my chest, it's, I can feel it, I can actually, you know, I'm moving my hands and I can actually feel the parts of my body that my hands are going down, like my head and of course if I was doing that, well, I can feel my arm, I can feel my hand on that, of course, but I'm not actually touching them. And I'm not really esoteric, really. I'm not particularly spiritual or anything. I don't really class myself as that. But I get this sense of shared, sharing something. I don't mean um, me just sharing with you, but uh, as a collective, the collective of people who are watching this or listening to this. I've always had that feeling that um, there's something a lot stronger. It's kind of invisible, but it's there's a there's a connection between uh, the voice and the ear. You know, my voice and your ear, or the video of me and your eyes, if you if you can see. So that it's kind of, I'm not sure how to explain it, but that's the feeling I get anyway, it's a feeling. It's not, um, not perhaps explaining it very well which is possibly what I should be doing. But that's another thing. I, I do kind of forget myself when I do these sessions. So I'm just being me. I'm just being honest and just being who I am. I'm not putting on a facade of um, some kind of spiritual guru or some amazing hypnotist that can hypnotize you to do anything. Um, there are people online that on YouTube that do that, you know, saying that you can get in people to forget their names and get in people to uh, not hands-free orgasms and um, who you know. I'm trying to think. Oh, yeah, other things. How to. Oh yeah, even I even saw one where it was how to change your sex uh, using hypnosis and for me I, I'm not saying that that stuff doesn't work I'm mean, obviously you can't change your sex but it's about um, perceiving you know people and forgetting their name it's like you know it's it's a temporary thing it's a used in stage hypnosis so people believe that they're an alien for five minutes or they feel, think they're Elvis Presley and they start singing into a, a broom handle you know that kind of stuff but I don't do that and it's just, just not really it's not really me it's not really what I do and I think those that watch my videos, those of you that watch and like what I do, you know that I don't do that stuff. But at the same time, I, I try not to be too serious. Uh, even though I've had a weird old day today. Very, it's one of those days where you know we've just lots of strange things kind of happened. Um, I kind of wish I'd stayed in bed, those kind of days. But if you stay in bed all day, where are you going to poo? That's what my, uh, I was going to say, that's what my grandmother used to tell me, but she didn't. I've got to stop saying stuff like that. She never. So we're coming to the end of this, whatever it was. Whatever this is, I'm calling it daily hypnosis, and you know there are people out there that do the other, you know, hypnotists, hypnotherapists, and they would watch this and they think, what the heck is all that about? 
not realising perhaps what I'm doing. And that's okay. Because ultimately what it's about, does this benefit you? Do you feel better or happier or uplifted or, you know, after listening to me than you did maybe before you listened to me? Did you look forward to listening to me or to watching the new video that I've just made, you know, before you played it? Uh, do you perhaps look forward to the next one? Do you notice changes in your life as time progresses? So maybe over the last week, this is, I think, the third one I've done so far this week. And it takes a little bit of time. Of course, you could listen to the 800 sessions I've done previous to this, but it's about how you feel, ultimately. And that's what I'm here for, is to help in a way that helps, if that makes sense. You know, it's allowing your own unconscious mind to make those changes that are required for you to enjoy more happiness, to feel safer, to experience more joy, to experience more of those feelings, whether it's So I think with, with, with emotions, it is physical. It's not just in your mind thinking, oh, I feel so... It's not just all in your mind, is it? If you're feeling really happy or really looking forward to something, it's a physical feeling as well. And I keep saying this, I've said this for years, you know, it amazes me that it's only, wasn't that long ago where they, the experts found out that the head is connected to the body. There is a connection. Body, mind, body, connection. As if they, did they not notice the neck? It's connected. Anyway. It's a massive connection. And that's one of the good things about NLP, uh, Neuro Linguistic Programming. I studied that 20 years ago, actually. Started studying that. And they're very much focusing on the body, the mind, the neurology, neurological connections. You know, it's... Um, And so much of it is based upon hypnosis. And what you think about affects how you feel. Uh, for example, until I mentioned it, you weren't thinking about your left thumb. Now you're focusing on it. And apologies, you know, if you, you're not able to, but generally, most of the people, you'll be thinking and focusing now on your left thumb and feeling it. That's not anything that I've done. It's just standard focusing. And if focusing on your left thumb is problematic in any way, I'm now going to suggest that you focus on your right foot. Maybe, you know, underneath, you know that bit? You know, you've got the, the arch bit underneath the foot. Just that. But I like that bit right there. So I did um, reflexology. I've studied reflexology actually twice, two different places, two different schools. 
and the hands and the feet and the feet are pretty much mapped the same way. It's all based on the meridian. Um, uh, it's like it's with acupuncture. It's based upon that, and it's very, very interesting. I kind of never, I never ended up doing it as a job, but I love my feet being massaged or you know don't have anyone to do it but I would love to I suppose if I had an income I'd probably try and get reflexology or uh, foot massage every week it's so lovely and it does stimulate I can, you can, I can feel it in fact you can imagine having a foot massage and have someone touching your feet at the right pressure so it's not tickly those that have got tickly feet, I've got tickly feet, but not if it's done properly. If it's done at the right pressure, then a foot massage is can be a, a, amazing. It's not for everybody, obviously, nothing is. But it stimulates your body. Stimulate you can kind of feel it in your in your scalp as the parts of your brain are being stimulated by these pressure points and sometimes just by thinking about having my feet massaged you can notice that sense of well-being within your body as if the that energy that relaxing healing energy has been released to just calm your muscles and your mind it's really nice so I'm going to go, let me know what you think of these sessions so far or you know just generally. You could say that I waffle on but I'm going to continue to do that. Uh, in the past some people have, have written, um, could you please get to the point, probably never going to happen. I will get to the point but it will be a roundabout way. Um, that's what these are so I'm not that's just how it is but hopefully useful so I, I realise that I'm kind of maybe trying to express or explain myself but at the same time just let you know where I'm coming from and uh, hopefully it's a, for me it's a good place it's the aim is to help and sometimes, you know, if you've been sat here or lay down listening to me, this 50 minutes of listening to me is 50 minutes that you've taken a break from whatever else it was you were doing before. It's 50 minutes where you're not watching television, 50 minutes where you're not on the internet, 50 minutes where you're not in a conversation with somebody, you're not having to think really about anything it's 50 minutes where you can just be with me we can be together and we can share this energy that other people that are also listening to this and watching this can share that that feeling and you can come together on the uh, comment section in YouTube and you can get to know each other or you can come and join in on my website jasonnewland.com some of you have already got to know each other on Facebook through because of some of the live broadcasts I've done so you know it's we can have our own little like a group kind of I don't know so I'm gonna go just to remind you that everything pretty much that I've ever done is available on my website jasonnewland.com I'm still in the process of uploading the remainder of the self-help mp3s because there's about 280 so I've still got probably about another 50 left or something to do um, I've been uploading these new videos as well the 
daily hypnosis videos as well as being on YouTube you can download them on my website and I've been making the audios available to download as well um, and the let me bore you to sleep sessions and I will be making more of those the today I've been in the process of adding so you can download the audios for like 99 pence each but you can also stream it for free so you can listen to the whole thing and don't pay anything so it's free uh, and if you want to download it then you download it for 99 pence so I've got about 43 I think let me bore you to sleep now, audios all my videos are available for one pound 99 each uh, and that's all the the back catalogue, the everything. So all videos are available for one ninety nine each, and but the MP threes at the moment, the Let Me Bore You to Sleep ones are ninety nine pence each. But you can listen to them for free, just by going to the page and just clicking on the play button, and it will stream the whole thing for you for free. Uh, as will this session, if you want to listen to this for free as well, on my website so thank you very much I'm going to go now and I will see you tomorrow lots of love bye